Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video and I'm somewhere new today I've gone to an other seaside town so I thought I'll have a little trip out to Morecambe and tell you something that was you know, quite easy to get to from Blackpool so yeah I don't have a little wander around Morecambe and see what can we expect So when you come off the train, um, there's not really a lot what you can see, but I have been told there used to be the best fairground here in Morecambe. we got a skate park ramp slash BMX I suppose, you could also use it for, just right across from the train station. We also have the Dynamo's right next to one. So something you don't see every day, done them all right next door from the train station, but I suppose but you'll get quite busy. It looked like I own some kind of retail type park here. We got a couple of shops. We got like your jump jump rush. So probably a bit like a trampoline park. So let's head towards the town slash prom area. Yeah, but so far I do seem a bit quiet, but it is an other seaside town place, so we're out of season now, so I bet you just get your locals walking around. And something telling me that the outdoor market have gone. All the outdoor markets seem to be going. The one in Blackpool also gone as well. But yeah, it don't look like it been in use for a very long time. As you can see, we got lots of graffiti and everything all over the walls. And they're also missing the roof. So it looked like I'm on the, the promenade bit. And it looked like you got lots of big outdoor spacing. But they look like a lot of places ain't closed, like, like been shut down. Like the outdoor market looked like it been closed for years. But yeah, there is plenty of outdoor spacing. And it do look clean. Have you ever came to Morecambe before? If so, what has your experience been like? It's quite a cloudy day today, but it's still quite warm, so we can't complain on that one. So I don't have a look near the sea bit now and see what can I see from there. It looks like we got a ball out. And it looked like we got a three ball stuff sitting on the sea. That white and red one, hopefully the camera can pick it up. It looked like a type of ball you'll get to hire from the lake window here. But these views, what you can see. On a nice clear day, you can see right over the water. It'd probably be like the lakes maybe over that way. But I can't be 100% sure, must have no good with my... God be and all that. And the big building just right in front of me is called the Winter Gardens also. I think that cost her a bit of a weird colour. Normally they're red, ain't they? One thing what I can say about Morecambe, 
just walking along the promenade. You got the nice big open paths, and everyone just getting on with the normal business. And you see a lot of dog walkers out, so it's clearly a good place to come and walk your dogs. Right, just coming into the town centre now. And so far, it looks nice and clean. I'm a bit freestyle in this video, but I don't really know my way around more than full stop. So when you come into the town centre, it seems to be a lot more livelier. We've got a job centre plus over there. But I think I'm a tiny bit lost, but that's all the fun about coming out, recording, and just literally hitting that record button and just going wherever the camera takes you. I never plan videos really, definitely. Well, maybe I should plan them a bit when I come out of town, but I don't really get that much lost. But yeah, that's all the fun about it. And you find out you probably nine out of ten probably get a better video doing it like this than what would than what you will do when it planned. So I'm just walking away from the promenade bit now. Onto like uh, probably like where people live, residential areas. And the streets do look quite narrow. So I said, I don't know where I'm going. So I'm just walking around, hoping for the best. The other thing I have noticed, there's plenty of little pubs around. And, but no matter where about you're walking, it all seems to lead you to the same place where you started. But I suppose, I suppose we can't get too lost here in Morkham. Right then guys, I think I don't want to leave Morecambe because it seems like I could walk around. Might be plenty more to do if you like perform the area and all the area better. But I don't make my way to Lancaster. But I need to pop to Lancaster to make the change to go back to Preston anyway. So I might just go go have a little look round Lancaster so not being a fully wasted trip. When people are telling me about, oh, don't go to Morecambe, you're nothing up this way anymore, and stuff, I just thought they would have been like negative about the town, don't get me wrong. The town looked clean, tidy, but there ain't really that much to do unless you want to go in the arcade down the promenade and just stuff like that. But Morecambe ain't for me, it might be for you, but yeah, that. Let's make our way up to Lancaster now. Right then guys, so I did I've made my way all the way down to Lancaster. So I had a little walk around before I start filming, after when I jumped off the train and now I up next to the bus station. So I thought on the way back to the train station to show you a bit for the Lancaster town also and it is looking quite busy today for Thursday I don't know uh, if people call it busy or would they call it quiet but I'm not always in Lancaster to be able to tell the difference so this is the first time I came across the um, bus station in Lancaster so I suppose these will get you all the way around Lancaster and maybe take you to Morecambe also. I do like the buildings in Lancaster. I like the um, brickwork. One thing what I can say about Lancaster. I don't like the hills, but I do like the brickwork in Lancaster. Look like this might be quite newly built here. Could be unsure. So 
people, I think this like the main town centre bit here. Yeah. Got people going about in everyday um, lifestyles and things. Well, what oh, I did mention before, it is very busy. And it's always good to see. These are getting quite popular. And um, the Eat Indian. And even one in Lancaster also. And here we got the Lancaster Courthouse. It looked like you're getting a bit of work done or something. And you got like the scaffolding boards on near the windows. What the best place to have a celebrity's right next door from the courthouse. You wouldn't mind working there and needing to go to court, will you? And just across from the court, we got a police station. Wonder if they got a tunnel what go underneath on the police station to the courts, I wonder. Right then guys, I think that's going to be the end of this video but if I see anything else I think you might be interested on the way I'll take a picture and take a video and show you it but yeah, if you enjoyed this type of video a bit of way out of Blackpool then please give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos of Blackpool and the odd one where our events are out then hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos then please turn on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next one